Hi, today we discuss how to construct a similar triangle. For example, one sum is there. Construct a isosquarent triangle whose base is 8 cm and the altitude is 4 cm. Then draw another triangle whose side are 1 and 1, one, and one by 2 of corresponding sides of a isosquarent triangle. So we we'll go to discuss how to construct a isosquarent triangle of a similar triangle. Yeah, first we construct isosquelent triangle. So isosquelent triangle ko samu, they gave the base is 8 cm. So we construct the 8 cm of the base. And then gave is a altitude is a 4 cm. So first of all we construct a altitude. So before we are constructing altitude, we take as a, it is a total length is a 8 cm. We are taking as a more than the for half of the length. So that is equal to consider 5 cm. I am taking here 5 cm. Draw our arc from its center A and again draw one more arc at that center of B. So these are the intersecting at point here. That intersecting point is there. And take that 4 cm from the and scale with the use of the compass. Right now draw one arc at the center now it is at right now join this at the center intersecting of a point and at the arc is there now right now we are join this this is a altitude of a 4 cm at point of C join all these points with point C and A we get as a, a triangle ABC this is side of AC and now it is a side of BC this is a triangle of ABC it is an isosceline triangle these two sides are equal it is each one is a 4 cm Now we want to go to construct a similar triangle and 1 and 1 by 2. So first we take as a with a com acute angle, draw an arc. It is a AX. In that question we have to give 1 and 1 by 2. That value is 2 1 the 2 plus 1 that is equal to 3 by 2. In, in a fraction, what is the maximum value? Maximum value is a 3. So, we will draw a number of arcs is 3. Take a certain angle. Draw that at center A. Take at center A. Draw an arc. And again at center here. Take this center A1. And draw an arc. Again take at center A2. Draw an arc. Okay. So, we before I said this is a A1. And it is a A2 point and it is a A3 point. Now, in fraction, in denominator, what we have there? Denominator have a 2. Then, at from point of 2, A2. If you have a denominator 3, that we are taking the line, draw the line from at point 3. But we have the only at 2, no? That's why we can draw that from at point of A2 to join this B. These two points are joined. Eh? Now we want to draw the one more parallel line for it from point of three. So that's why we are taking as here it is a some angle. Draw an arc. Right at the same angle at the center three. Draw again here it is also one arc. Right, that length measure that length of this uh, at point of here to on the line. Yes, exactly the tensor is intersecting here. Then take this length and keep that point here. And draw one line right now it is intersecting here only 
join these two points and this point from point B to here extending like this from the X side it is intersecting here it not this is called as a B dash so here also we draw the one more arc so for this session right and I have here also we keep that point and draw the one mark take the measurements here from the point is that same mark here also we draw that and the descending point to join this draw one line Okay, here it is if we extend that from point C it shows as a, a C dash it is a C dash so then we say that that triangle our one and one better triangle similar triangle is a, a B dash C dash is a similar our same constructing similar triangle thank you